now working on row um, 16 we chain one and we turn and row 16 you work one single crochet in the next 14 single crochet so that's two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and then we'll work two single crochet in the next two single crochet twice one two and one two and we end this one off by working again 14 five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and on row seventeen so after that row we should have thirty two single crochet here and then we go into row seventeen which is a repeat of row two which is one single crochet in each single crochet to the end and I'll meet you again back to do the last and final row eighteen now for the last and final row which is row 18 we ended up here after 17 having the same 32 single crochet as row 16 so for the last and final row we'll start by chaining one chain one turn and we work two single crochet in the first single crochet and one single crochet in each of the next 12 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then we're gonna work two single crochet in the next single crochet twice so two single crochet in each one the next six single crochet so that's one two three four five six and then I did start with two yes and then we work in the next twelve one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and we end by working two single crochet in the last single crochet and that would give you if you count this exactly 40 this will be 40 single crochets and because I've already done um, other ones I just wanted to show you when I get to this point I do the second side exactly like the first side and I um, leave a tail for sewing and I'm gonna come back in a minute and show you exactly how to sew these together okay bear with me so to sew them because I left the tail on the end to sew them together you just use your yarn needle and the right side which is what we ended on on a right side I put those um, together put the right side together I hold it like this and I sew through the back loop and the back loop of both um, of the sides so just the back loop see you can see how I'm doing it so the back loop just catch them you should have even counts 40 and 40 single crochet on each side so you just grab the back loops and stitch grab the back loop and stitch and that's all you do until you get to the end and I'm gonna um, show you what it looks like when I'm finished so um, 
getting to the end I kind of sew over the um, the little tail that was there and I sew this um, down a little bit more right to do the stitching just to let it finish off because we're gonna line it so when we line it we can hide all this piece here so I just do this and I do a little knot like that all right pull this through and I end this off here you don't need to do nothing fancy see that's the back side and that's the front see how nice it have the curve for your nose this go over the top and this go over the bottom and when we do the edging which we start oops put my needle away start the edging on the end like here and I start right here in the end just you know these are the loose stitches left from the where you start um, crocheting so the loose loops so I start by a, a slip stitch one chain and a single crochet here and then I do another single crochet in the next one and then I chain 70 one two three so we're gonna chain 70 and turn or I guess 71 is okay too. 70 71 um, I did 71 and I'm gonna um, just I'm just gonna fake like I'm doing 71 here and once I get to my 70 um, I go into the second chain from hook and I make um, single crochets right back up to the to where I started right I'm just mocking this up to show you how I do it it's just too much to be chaining so much and showing you I'll show you finished ones um, I showed at the beginning and I'll show it again at the end how it looks and then I just continue oops so say this was our 71 and we're coming back to the um, right you go right to the last if you did 71 this would be 70 single crochets and you go back in a single crochet in the same stitch as the last one you did and then in the corner stitch I hide these while I'm going along the edges I do another single crochet and then I just start single crochet right around to the next side there's nothing fancy about this I just do it evenly around I didn't even count Pretty much in the top of each row of single crochet you're doing a um, single crochet so I'm guessing if it's 18 it's in total from here to here it's 38 from here to the top here and then I just continue around and when I get here I do the first one here the second one here and I chain out again the 71 and single crochet in the second chain from hook and I come back there and single crochet in there and I come right around and I end with a slip stitch in the top of this first single crochet and if you can see um, let me just show you this red one you can see this is how it ends up looking right this is your 70 and this is how it ends up looking on the end and that's pretty much it and after that I just line it and as I sh I'm showing you this one I cut the lining just a little smaller so I put this down like this and I cut the lining around and I make it maybe a half inch smaller it looks bigger here how I have it but it's really a half inch smaller than this and I just bend it in see if you can see this one I bend it in and I just um, pin it around and I just hand stitch this with a sewing machine I mean with a um, needle and thread or you can do it with a sewing machine if you have just string up some white thread and go around or as I said you can use like a um, fusible web or fusible I call it fusible web this is from back in the day we used to call it that a fusible um, lining and you iron it and it sticks on or you can use fabric glue there's so many things you can do to line um, these masks see these ones I stitch in by hand right I stitch in these ones this was t-shirt material this is just cotton um, this is the fusible interfacing and this is just a white material I have with a little shine in it and I'm gonna sew that in but that's pretty much how the um, mass is completed 
and um, this one is kind of fancy I did it with the Canada um, maple leaf I just it's an iron-on that just sticks just kind of like the fusible interfacing it sticks when I do it and that's pretty much what I do and that's it for the pattern so remember to subscribe like and uh, comment and give me your honest opinions I'm really trying hard with these videos I know um, for the most part um, this is one of my first start to finish I usually just give tips and tricks and try to explain things this is just one of my first first um, that's another one one of my first videos I'm doing start to finish it's so cumbersome but I guess to help people out that want to do stuff at home that's exactly how it's done I'm just showing you all the ones that have I have other ones but I'm just showing you this one this is the Rasta one. Oh, we got a little whiteness on it but this is the Rasta one see I've done so many already so thank you for watching and have a wonderful day